Hey everyone, I'm Joe Grand. Welcome to my lab. I thought it'd be fun to kind of go into some design details behind the DEF CON 27 badge. So come on. The theme of the conference was technology's promise. Imagine if technology could be used to build a community and to help you instead of just capturing all your data and selling it to the highest bidder. When I first started designing the badge, I said, okay, if this was my first time at DEF CON, what would I want to do? Because there's so many things going on, the conference is massive. So the badge really is kind of a guide to help you get through DEF CON. And I've created what I call a badge quest that sort of helps you on your way. So let's power up this badge. Stick the battery in. Little tune gets played. You can see the lights turn on. There's a little power on self test that happens. The peripherals get configured. What we see now, we're in what's called the attract mode. And here the LEDs are just sort of breathing on and off very slowly in different LED patterns. And those patterns actually correspond to the letters D E F C O N. But this attract mode really is just to have some blinky lights going and have the badge do something before you actually start your badge quest. Now, if I take another badge of any type and hold it up to the badge, we should have some communication. And now we're in the first state of the badge quest. So the next five states of the quest correspond to the different tasks that you have to do at DEF CON. Go see a talk. Go to a village, which is sort of a sub-conference within the bigger conference. Go see a contest or participate in a contest, go to a party, go to see an art installation or a concert that's going on. You basically have to go and find a person called a goon who's somebody who's helping out with the conference at these different areas. Go find the goon with that special magic token, which is the same badge, but programmed with a, a special flag that lets you go to the next state of the quest. And there's five different types of magic tokens corresponding to the five different tasks that you have to complete. The final state of the quest is you have to get one of every different colored badge that exists at DEF CON and hold them all together. And there'll be communication between all the different badges. And when all of the communication finally happens, then you're rewarded with the final state of the badge. You hear a little song played and some additional functionality gets unlocked through the uh, serial port interface. If you look on the front side of the badge, this is a hand cut Brazilian quartz crystal because I thought that it would be cool for 30,000 hackers to be wearing crystals, uh, but it also kind of added a nice element of hiding the technology. So the technology isn't necessarily in your face. It's more of like jewelry than anything else. There's different types of badges for different attendees, different dyed gemstones, depending on the type, and the gemstone color matches the board color. This happens to be the human badge, which is the main attendee type. So over here I have a um, NXP KL27. This is our main microcontroller. On the right side of the KL27 is an LED driver connected to the KL27 over I squared C. This driver will control uh, the six LEDs that we have on the board. We can individually dress the LEDs, dim them however we want. We have two low dropout linear regulators. In the upper right hand corner, we have a piezo speaker. Over here is probably the coolest part of the badge, and this is the badge to badge communication. We're using an NXP NHX2261, an NFMI, a near field magnetic induction communication method. So you have this low distance coupled communication that doesn't emit or propagate information outside of its range. So really designed for personal body area network types of applications. No conference badge would be complete without some sort of hackable interfaces. So up at the top here, we have a ARM serial wire debug interface with uh, a tag connect layout, which makes it easy during production and during manufacturing to make sure that we've oriented the cable the right way. And then down at the bottom, we have a standard four pin uh, UART interface, a serial port interface. What I have set up here is just a 1.8 volt compatible USB to serial adapter, which shows up as a virtual COM port on my computer so I can just receive and transmit data to and from the badge. So now if I put the battery in, we can actually see the data being sent on power up over that UART interface. So we can see there's some initialization routines. Um, a lot of this was really helpful for me as I was doing my development. We can see the badge type, the badge state that it's in, the different game flag settings. Uh, then we're configuring the different peripherals. And then once initialization is complete, then the badge goes to sleep. This is the attract mode that we see here. So if we want to go to another mode, I can actually just take a badge and hold it over this badge. And we'll see, oh, that it just read data from the other badge. And here we see the, the data packet that's being sent from the other badge. And then for our board, it says, oh, we're in badge state D. Game flag is one. This means now we have a whole bunch of other states to go through before we actually complete the quest. The other mode we can go to is an interactive mode. And what happens is the badge is basically looking for logic level high on the RX pin, which is gonna happen when you have a USB to serial adapter connected. So I have a little switch on my adapter to make this a little easier. But if I flip the switch and connect that RX pin, 
I suddenly get dropped into this interactive mode. Okay, let's press H for commands. And now there's a list of commands that you can do communicating from your computer directly to the badge just as a fun way to get more information about it. If you do complete the quest, there's some additional functionality that comes up here, which is kind of cool, but I'll leave that as an exercise. The design of the DEF CON badge is fully open source. There's lots of information online about it. If you go to my website at grandideastudio.com, there is links to the schematics and bill of materials and firmware. An NXP engineer wrote a really great guide on how to get up and running, which is linked from my website. It's on Reddit. And yeah, you know, this is just a project that was meant to excite people and inspire people about electronics using interesting technologies. I learned a lot along the way, and I hope other people learned a lot by using it. Once again, my name is Joe Grand, signing off. Hope to see you again. This one I call Grumpy Badge, because it sort of, sort of looks like a grumpy little guy when I put little googly eyes on there. Oops, I just lost his eye.